Hey guys, it's you, and I'm back with another Mobile Bytes. Still haven't thought of another name for it, so this might be something that sticks. Anyways, uh, it's late at night right now. It's uh, 12.15. Let me take my watch off so I can show you guys the time. It's, oops. It's, uh, oh no, it slept. Okay, there we go. As you can see, or maybe not, it's 12.15 right now, a.m., um, and, uh, yeah, I, um, was a little, a little peckish, so I decided, uh, let's, let's set up Jack in the Box. Um, now, I, this wasn't a planned video at all. And I wasn't, I mean, my first mobile bites wasn't really planned either. I just happened to go through the drive through as I usually do. And then I saw something. This time I didn't really see anything special. But um, they did have jalapeno poppers. So kind of wish I got them. But, you know, there's always a next time. So I decided to go with something I'm more familiar with. So I'll, uh, without further stalling, show you guys. First starting off, I got the... Regular size Oreo shake. Um, what I like about Jack in the Box with their milkshake is that they actually give you maraschino cherries. Although, I think they normally give you one, so I think I lucked out with this one. I got, or I got lucky, so I got two. Just the way maraschino cherries should be. All right, so let's see what's in this bag. So I got, whoops, oh, we lost the sauce, it's all good. So I got two, um, what are they called? Jumbo Jack cheeseburgers. Now two of those, here we go. Oh yeah, I, just, I have the light at a weird angle. I'm just using an, another like small light source, so yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't bring it any closer without it getting dark, as you can see. Um, but, uh, as you can see, it's, you know, it's actually not that bad looking, you know? Uh, honestly, pretty, pretty, um, pretty much like the photo. It's nice, you know? They're very nice presentation. Which, you know, obviously, that's something you just don't expect from these fast food places. Normally, is you, you just... Because, you know, if you've ever had fast food before, you know, most of the times, they are not like the photo at all. Now, granted, I've seen videos where people ask, it, ask them to remake it so that it looks like the photo, and they do do that. But, like... I don't know. One, I think that kind of annoys the employee, you know, because they, they made it and then you're asking them to remake it, first of all. And second of all, you know, it's it's fast food. They don't exactly, um, you know, they're trying to whip it out as fast as they can, especially if they're busy. So, yeah, just overall, I, I feel like you'd, you'd be an annoyance. Although, you know, as a customer, I suppose you do have the right to ask for it. Um, anyways, next I got the, uh, the breakfast jack, the sausage version. So the sausage one costs, I believe, 30 or 40 cents extra. I actually don't have the uh, receipt, so um, I, I, I'm trying to remember off of memory. Yeah, the, the sausage jack is 30 or 40 cents extra, I believe, compared to the regular price, so it's... This is 189, the regular is like 149, I think. And, um, let me, let me, uh, yeah, it's like harshly overexposed. I don't know why. Okay, right. oh, there we go. Back up, oh, nope, it's up, oh, nope, okay. My, uh, I'm shooting this on an iPhone 6S Plus, so, yeah, not, not exactly good for nighttime shots but yeah so can hardly see it but there's there's an egg in there and then there is a sausage it's a breakfast item 
And clearly it's breakfast time. All right, and then the last item I got, ooh, ooh, still hot, still hot. This is, uh, I'll open it when I um, eat it, actually get to eating it, but ooh, it's hot. This also another thing about Jack in the Box that's nice. It's really, really hot. Oh, geez. Um, but it's the Meat Lovers Burrito. Now, I actually, you know, this is actually almost, obviously, yeah, actually, this is almost the size of a Lolita's California burrito, at least the one that I got. Obviously, it's smaller. It's, it's, yeah, it's noticeably smaller, but like, it's, it's almost there in terms of size. Which is kind of surprising because this is only $3.99 and the California burrito I got from Lolita's is like $8 plus tax or something like that. So yeah. Alright, let's start with the... Uh, Jumbo Jack Cheeseburger. So out of all the stuff I got, what I would actually consider like value pricing probably be this jumbo jack cheeseburger because it's like i think 269 or yeah 269 i believe and i got two of these and then the breakfast jack is 189 because i got the sausage one so um yeah although looking at the breakfast jack clearly and this is just in terms of content this is more than just just the content alone minus the buns i feel like it's already more than double the size of the breakfast check so maybe if you actually weigh in like other factors not exactly value but price alone it's you know it's value pricing i feel like and it's like you know it's a breakfast item and breakfast items actually aren't that cheap all right well let's dig in First of all, that's really crunchy. Like, obviously, sorry, obviously the crunch is coming from like the vegetables, the lettuce, and the onion. But wow, you can just—that's very surprisingly crunchy for me. And um, yeah, you can just tell how fresh the lettuce is. Holy cow! Also, it could be because I've been craving a cheeseburger for a while now, but wow, this is good. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. You know, I'm actually kind of sad I didn't decide to do an ASMR video with this, but like, it was kind of, it was kind of impromptu in the first place, so, yeah, you know, maybe next time I can get something else off of Jack in the Box, something more, I don't know, because with my mukbang ASMR videos, I like to introduce like new food items that are like either, you know, limited time items, like like a McRib, for example. I haven't done that yet, but like a McRib, for example, that's a limited time item. Yeah, stuff like that, or just new items. Um, I like to try to do those kinds of things, or something with a theme. But, uh, yeah, this, 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 I was just hungry. <laughs> so, this is just pure gluttony at play right here, and... Man, it's good. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it's like I've rediscovered the cheeseburger and I love it. Again, it could be a mental thing because... I've been craving a cheeseburger, so I've, my, my, um, taste for it might, 
might be heightened. But also, you know, if it was a bad cheeseburger, then it, it's just a bad cheeseburger. So clearly, Jack in the Box is doing something right. Ooh. Ooh. I think honestly overall I think it's the lettuce the just the vegetables inside and the tomato which is technically a fruit that is giving the wow factor like it's so fresh and you know vegetables and fruit they have a lot of water content so i feel like it's giving this extra juiciness to the burger which is just really nice oh and there's a pickle right there i didn't even notice i probably ate the other pickle and didn't even realize it i didn't taste the pickle oh Unless they have three to four, four pickles in this whole thing, both the pickles are... Actually, no, they do have three pickles just on this side, though. Yeah, but they're all on this side, so... Hmm. Now that I see the pickle, I can taste it when it's in my mouth, but... I don't know, either there weren't any pickles on one side, the, the side I've been eating on, or it, it just got, like masked by the flavor of everything else and i can only taste it now because i you know i saw it but who knows either way it's good it's very good That's good stuff. That's a proper fast food cheeseburger, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I just ate all the three pickles and you can definitely, mm -hmm. I mean it's three slices of pickles, so you know, all in one bite, so the, the taste is definitely stronger, it's more defined there. Oh, whoever thought of putting pickles in cheeseburgers, God bless them. No, it's so good. I almost don't want to eat the next one right away. So I think I'm going to move on to the breakfast jack, actually. And actually, in fact, you know, before I even start with the breakfast jack, I'm going to take a sip of my shake. But even before that, I'm going to open this up so that it cools down because it's really hot. And... I think I've mentioned this before in a previous video, but I I don't do that well with hot foods. Like I I gotta let it cool down first. Oh oh, this one's kind of stuck. Oh oh no. Oh, save the burrito. Okay, so definitely gonna have to eat this in the wrapper. But as you can see, part of it is stuck. Oh, it just came off. Now yeah, of course. I'm gonna try to show you guys it comes off. But yeah, as you can see, there is a big gaping hole there now. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna open this up to let it cool. 
so that by the time I get to it, hopefully I can take a proper bite in. Okay, moving on. We have the breakfast jack with sausage. Now, I know I said earlier that I, I went into more familiar foods. Um, but I actually haven't tried to, had the... I actually haven't had the breakfast jack or the jumbo jack cheeseburger. So, technically, the only thing that's familiar is the shake. And... Um, the meat lovers burrito i really love their breakfast burrito their meat lovers and their uh grande sausage grande sausage yeah i think it's grande sausage so good oh she's thick mm. that's good Oh yeah, I like my milkshake thick. All right. Hmm. Okay, I can definitely get the flavor for this. I should have started off with this though because Starting with the Jumbo Jack, which has so much flavor, and then moving on to something a lot more basic, which just buns, um, sausage, and egg. Yeah, I, I probably should have started off with this. Uh, granted, I also did take a sip of the shake, so maybe. Maybe some ketchup will help. I've never... Oh, exposure. I've actually never... Um, put ketchup in my burgers before, or breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I've never put it in myself. Obviously, I've eaten burgers and sandwiches with ketchup in it, but I've never, yeah, this, okay. Anyways, I'll shut up now. Hmm. High fructose corn syrup always does the trick. Yep. It's not bad. Mm hmm. I mean, like I said, this is a real basic breakfast food item, so. For what it is, it really, it's not that bad. I mean, I love these sausages. Like, I used to get it, like, the boxes at Costco. And this, these, these round sausages, like, these disc sausages, and then the actual, like, kind of like the ones you got at, like, IHOP or Denny's when you get, like, a breakfast platter. Those sausages, I love those. I'm almost thinking maybe I should do the um, burrito before the last Jumbo Jack because, yeah, I don't know. I, the burrito has a lot of flavor in it though, so. And I will be using hot sauce, so. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just finish the Jumbo Jack first. Yeah, in terms of the breakfast check, you know, like I said earlier, it's a basic food item. Your breakfast item. Yeah, nothing else much to say here.
feel like this is like a good little pick me up. I'm definitely, for some weird reason, automatically, I'm definitely craving like coffee with this. And I don't even necessarily drink a lot of coffee, so it's, it's interesting. It's interesting what the mind does and how it automatically associates certain items with other items. Like, this is a breakfast item, so... A savory breakfast item, so I'm like, hmm, coffee seems like something I would want. Yeah, breakfast jack, not bad. Not necessarily something great either, you know, it's kind of just like an insignificant little breakfast item. Oh, we got a hot sauce in there. How did you manage to get in there that deep? Alright. Let's cleanse or rather destroy our palate with the Oreo shake. Mmm. So thick. Gotta get a good suck in there. Gotta suck it real good. Get that thickness out. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. What is it? Whoa. Why is it like that? Those are some real nice colors. Real nice. Um, yeah, I'm already excited at the prospect of biting into this. I like the fresh onions too. You know, I think at In N Out I only get grilled onions because it's it's um it's not as bad for my breath. But geez, I, I really like the taste of fresh onions. Obviously in a burger, not by itself. Like I don't go biting into onions like it like it's an apple or anything. Hmm. You know what I'm glad about is the um, quality between this one and the first one is consistent. Lettuce is just as fresh. The tomatoes, the onion, all good. The sauce ratio is still there. Yeah. It's great. Now, obviously, you know, I ordered them together, so you can expect to get a consistent quality, whether that be good or bad. But, um, you know, sometimes you order two of the same thing and it comes out like vastly different sometimes. And obviously one that's disappointing and two that is a sign that this, you know, wherever you're eating at doesn't know how to quality control. But yeah. This this is this is nice for me. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. Obviously not there, or actually, you know, I was about to say not their iconic, not their flagship iconic burger, but I don't, I don't even think I necessarily know Jack in the Box's iconic burger. Um, 
I always assume it's the sourdough jack. But, you know, if anyone knows what Jack in the Box's actual iconic burger menu item is, go ahead and tell me. Like, you know how for McDonald's it's the Big Mac, like, and Burger King is the Whopper. Like, obviously, they're, I, I, I don't think they're what you would call flagship because they have more, you know, they, they each have their own bigger, more expensive burgers as well. But, like, yeah, they're definitely their iconic menu item is the Big Mac and the Whopper, respectively. So, yeah, I think Jack in the Box is the Sourdough Jack, but please, someone correct me if I'm wrong. All the lettuce is shifting to one side, so I'm going to go ahead and move this towards the lettuce. Yeah, definitely, I'm noticing right now, I was just taking a closer look at the um, the burger patty. And it looks pretty dry, actually. So definitely the lettuce is doing wonders with its water content, making it juicier. Yeah, because the last thing I personally want is a dry burger. And yeah, this is this is good. This stuff. Now, obviously, it's fast food quality, so you can't expect a juicy burger. But they really they balance it out with the lettuce and the tomatoes, which is really nice. It gives that juiciness that this burger patty otherwise wouldn't have by itself and every time you bite into it that crunch is just satisfying It was certainly satisfying my craving that I've had for a cheeseburger for a while. Yeah, I just, I just wanted a good, solid cheeseburger, you know. No frills, no, you know, no, like, curly fries or onion rings in the burger. Just classic good cheeseburger. And, you know, for fast food, this is really hitting the spot. So, I think they, whoever made the burger, they, they, Either this is a jack-in-the-box thing, or whoever made this one is their specific thing, but they are putting the pickles off to one side, so that's, that's interesting. Interesting choice, but I respect that. Hmm. It's also interesting how I manage to always get the pickle at the end. It might just be the way they've oriented the burger in the wrapping. Mm. What was that? I was doing so well of not dropping anything.
thought I felt it on my leg. I don't see any marks on my leg either though. Oh. Hello? Is that you? No, you're not it. Oh, it landed on here. It's a, it's a lettuce or onion. I can't really tell. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'll just share a personal thing with you guys. There's, there's two things that always makes me crave burgers. One is um, Krabby Patties from Spongebob Squarepants. Especially when I see it being made by Spongebob, like that one episode where he shows like, oh, you know, this is how you make it. You got the bun, the patty, or the, yeah, the patty. You gotta have two, two pickles. Yeah, it, it, whenever I see that, I always, and specifically, it's fast food burgers that I want. But another instance where it, I always crave a burger is, I don't know if, because, you know, SpongeBob's kind of, I would say kind of universal, kind of. But um, this one might be just more of an American thing. There was a cartoon called Courage the Cowardly Dog. And... It's about this pink dog. I mean, you know, we can argue about the color of him, but like this pink dog that lives with um, his owners in a secluded farmland. Their name are Eustace, <clears throat> Eustace and Muriel. Um, weird things happen in the middle of nowhere, but um, we're not going to get into the specifics of the show. You guys can look it up. It's Courage, the Cowardly Dog. But... There's this one episode where Eustace is craving a burger. So he goes to a diner and he takes courage with him. I think not necessarily, um, you know, against his own will. I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, Muriel told him to take courage with him. And courage, obviously, he didn't want to go with Eustace and Eustace didn't want him to go with him. Or didn't want to take him, but um, you know he had to. You know the wife says you 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 do something, you do something. Although um, you know it is the twenty first century now, so. Anyways, um, we'll put the politics aside. Um. So they go to a diner, and Eustace gets this big fat juicy cheeseburger. And I've, you know, I've, as a little kid, I've always, when I saw that, because I've never been to a diner before. I don't count Denny's as a diner, technically. And I haven't even been to Ruby's Diner, which some people don't really count as a diner. But, um, yeah. So, as a little kid, when I first saw that, I, I always thought I want a, a diner cheeseburger. Like, I one, I just want to go to a diner, and two... I definitely want a cheeseburger. After seeing that episode, I was like, I want a cheeseburger from a diner. Well, last year, actually, I had a chance to go to a diner, a local diner that I've seen before, but I never, and I've wanted to go, but I've never had the chance. But it was last year after watching Infinity War with my friends that I went. And, um, yeah, it was really good. So, I, yeah. And now, now I'm craving a cheeseburger from a diner, but um, it's for another video. Man, I should probably scoop that cherry before I can't reach it anymore. Good stuff. Man, maraschino cherries, man. Amazing.
amazing. Absolutely amazing. Do other places do cherry on top with like, you know, milkshakes and uh, like, I mean, like other countries. Because I, I feel like maraschino cherries are kind of a U.S. thing, like a U.S. garnish, if you will, for like a dessert, obviously. Um, yeah, like we put them in milkshakes, banana splits, sundaes. Yeah, good stuff. Because, like, you know, I, I, I guess the Korean equivalent of a dessert garnish like a maraschino cherry would be, I don't know, red bean, maybe? I know for some of you that don't know anything about Korean culture or food, it's probably like, red bean, how is that a dessert garnish? But if you've had red bean, you would know. Like, it's, it's, it's really sweet. It's, you know, people think beans at least in the US, and they're like, oh, savory stuff. But no, red bean is, that's that by itself is already dessert because it's, it's, it's sweet. And honestly, that puts some people off if they've never had it because they're like, beans aren't, <laughs> reminds me of a story with my friend, but that's, that's, again, no, put that aside because I'm dragging this too long by now. Um, but yeah, some, some people are put off because they're like, beans shouldn't be sweet. Mmm. Wow. I'm scared to show it because the contents might spill, but you know what? I really want to show you guys, so. And of course it's overexposed. There we go. So as you can see, this is all egg. It's packed with egg. And that is nice. Because normally, especially with breakfast burritos, it's packed with the tortilla. So this is nice. They actually fill the inside. I know this sounds like it's starting to sound like a sponsored video, but guys, I wish I was sponsored by Jack in the Box. Do you know, like, first of all, like, it's Jack in the Box. You would get, I, I would assume you get a good amount of money for being their sponsor, you know? And I wish they would sponsor me, but yeah, like, Tonight, obviously, they did something right. Which is why I'm giving them such praise for it. Also, I've been craving a burger, so you, you never know. Because originally, I was planning on going to Burger King, but they, they, they closed. On Google, it says they closed at 12, but I was there at like 11.45. Yeah, I was about to be one of those pricks that <laughs> go in 10, 15 minutes before closing. But turns out they were already closed, so... I don't know, maybe their kitchen closes earlier. Um, but, like, the store itself was closed, so, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so point I was trying to make was, you know, if I had gotten something from Burger King... I might have just to, might have had just the same reaction, just because I've been craving a burger. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys again. It's really overexposed, as you can see, or maybe not clearly see, but you can see the color differences. So you can just kind of assume. We're starting to get into the meat. That is a sausage, and that is some ham. So, hence, meat lover's burrito. Yeah, that's a sausage. Yeah, this is good. Again, hot sauce definitely 
helps with the flavor. Mm. Got some bacon in there too. Honestly, yeah, for me personally, and I think this goes for a lot of burritos, not just this one particularly, but you just gotta have hot sauce with burrito. That's just like one of those things where you, you know, it just goes with it. You can't have it without, for me personally, anyway, like if I just try to eat this by itself, like, yeah, it'd be good. I don't know. I feel like it, it. It'd be kind of bland. Maybe not necessarily bland, but like, I feel like it's missing something. So, for me, I think hot sauce is a necessity for all burritos in general. Kind of like how I think ketchup is a necessity for french fries you know oh, oh that was a fail and obviously you can do without any condiments but like why make yourself miserable especially when you have it available we can get some more hot sauce yes it's technically hot taco sauce. It's hot for taco. But I'm using it on a burrito, so there you have it. How are you guys doing though? I haven't even asked how you guys are doing. I truly would love to know how you guys are doing. Is that a hash brown in there? I think that's a hash brown. Wow, this is really packed with all kinds of stuff. Like, I've had this before, but I, I don't recall all the contents. Like I know it had the ham and sausage in it. I temporarily forgot that there was bacon in it until I got to it. But I don't even remember there being hash browns in previous ones. But it has been a while, so. Yeah. What is, uh, whoever's watching, where are you up to? How's life? I know it can be tough. It can be hard. You know. I've been through rough patches. Sometimes you just gotta have some time for yourself, you know? Even when you feel like you can't have any time for yourself, you just, you just gotta force yourself to give yourself some me time. And right now it's, now it's, all, it's one minute away from being 1 a.m. I'm in my freaking car parked on the side of a sidewalk enjoying Jack in the Box and trust me it's not like I don't have anything to stress about right now I I got you know as stress free as I look right now I got I got stuff that I need to worry about as well but sometimes you, I mean you gotta take care of yourself you know Cause, oh, cause, what are you working so hard for if not to have a better life for yourself and your family? There's no point in 
working your butt off and killing yourself with stress if, you know, you're not going to be happy in the end. with the serious talk going back to the meat lovers burrito I love the eggs in here I'm chewing on one right now they're just really fluffy and um and moist like you know you have dry eggs and that's just that's just not pleasant for a lot of people but this uh, there's there's some some good I don't know proper way to describe it but there's a good juiciness to the eggs you know I'm biting into this and obviously I'm putting in the hot sauce so there's that too but I'm biting into this and that's ketchup and you know I don't feel like I'm biting into the Sahara Desert this is just pure goodness right here. It's a good balance, as all things should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. was a lot of food don't get me wrong this is like I said earlier in the video this is pure gluttony it is 1 a.m. should not be eating like this it's a guilty pleasure that's why it's called a guilty pleasure Funny thing is, I'm eating all this and I'm still thinking about food. I I know I can't eat it, but I don't, I can't help but think about food. Like I'm thinking about tacos, El Gordo tacos right now. I don't know why. Hmm. Good stuff. You guys can tell by now. I um, I like to ramble. I'm like I'm, I'm I'm like I'm like an old man. Yep. But ooh, really good stuff. diabetes in a cup. But I gotta stop drinking it. Oh my gosh. God bless America.
truly like really oh my gosh wow that is so good all right well <clears throat> that was uh Jack in the Box Mobile Bites. Um, food haul, unpacking, whatever you want to call it. Two Jumbo Jack cheeseburgers, one Breakfast Shack, one Meat Lovers Burrito, one regular Oreo shake. There was no rhythm or rhyme to what I picked. I was just like, hmm that's cheap that's cheap that burrito isn't necessarily cheap but you know what i'll get it because i like it and yeah the, the shake was unnecessary too but like you know what if i'm gonna be paying two something for a drink i might as well just pay a little extra and get a shake instead that's the one thing that's honestly the one driving factor about mcdonald's for me is they're 99 cent drinks because that is yeah that that's just i i think at right now that's just unbeatable but, um, anyways yeah so that was jack in the box mobile bites um need to get a haircut <laughs> anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed and um let me know what i should do next for a mobile bites if you guys have any suggestions you know any recommendations i'll take it because this this is nice i like it um it has been like i said earlier in the video it has been impromptu for this one and the first one but it's nice i i really like this mostly because i get to treat myself but um Yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll try to provide. Well, that was Jack in the Box, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!